Um, there's been so I've, I've been reading up on you, and we've had this discussed this before as well. Yes. There has been negative press yes. about you as well. How do you manage that? And you know, how do you pass through those negative uh, places? I mean, it's it's been a long time you've been in business, mm-hmm. so I'm sure there was a certain way you managed it before. Yes. And how do you do it now? What's what's the journey been of managing the, that negative press? You know, when I first started a business, I was naive to think that everybody would think greatly of me because I'm constantly hardworking, I'm doing my best to do things and, and I make decisions that's best for as many people mm-hmm. as possible. You know, we always have this thing that we want to please everybody but knowing that we shouldn't and we couldn't. Really. Yes. Um, so I learned that later on and uh, especially being a public figure, for some, for whatever reason, I'm just here to share my content and you would realize it, Rohit, that people made me a public figure. I'm only a public figure because people chose to follow mm. me. And I'm questioning myself every time, why do pe- that many people decided to? And I realized that there's pros and cons of being a public figure. Yeah. And that's what I wasn't preparing myself for. Mm. <laughs> so when I get allegations or when I get people giving opinions of myself that's negative or people are being condescending okay, to what I do, people disagreeing with my decisions, um, at the, in the beginning, I find it hard to take. Yep. And so I get a little bit depressed and affected by, by this behavior that ruins my entire day in productivity. And then later on, I kind of realized that I, I cannot go on defending myself and wasting that much energy mm. every time people feel they have a standpoint of me. Yep. And I realized that whatever that I feel I need to answer, I will. And any small talks or small opinions that people randomly give, mm. I just have to let it go. Mm. I have to take it, accept it, and I just let it go. Okay. And especially knowing so consciously, as long as consciously you know you are not that person and how people mm. describe you, then you just uh, you just move on and continue to be a better person mm. than the person you are. Um, in, I don't read anymore most of the negative things. Yep. Anything that is affecting the business per se, vicious ones, yep. um, my lawyers are on it. Okay. If it need be, because it's just for the company you know, protection. Okay. Um, but personally, I don't bear grudges. Actually, okay. I, I never see people who say bad things about me as my enemies. Mm. And if there's a potential way that people change and want to do business, I'm always open to work with a lot of people. Hmm. So I wouldn't, if you ask me that Lisa, would you want your children to be famous or to be a public figure? I said, not really. I said, you don't need to be a public figure to hmm. do well in business. Hmm. And you shouldn't focus on being a public figure hmm. or having a lot of followers hmm. because the implications are pretty harsh. Hmm. You just need to look for the right community, like-minded individuals that lift you. Hmm. And these people will make you successful yeah. and you give value back to them. So that's it.